Yeah, take it off, Micah. <laughs> Feel the beat of the rhythm of the night. <laughs> 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 hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. It's so juicy. The violence. Parental abuse. Mmm, sure. Smells like chicken. Today we're reacting to a food video. I hope you're yeah. <laughs> uh, I've seen this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. We love this guy. We've seen this guy. Best, this guy. Best, best, best ever food review show. This is called ever. Sweet Indian Street Food. From Sweet Indian Street, Street Food. food. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, I like how. <laughs> Ow. You know, there's a whole. Crack me with your ring. There's a whole list Crack. of songs that get white people hyped. That's, that's one, one of them. them. 100%. That's one of them. That's a white people hype. Uh, sweet Indian street food tour in North India. Ah, uh, yes. India's dessert capital. Sweet Wait. Uh, unless North India? Bengal would be considered west. <laughs> I mean, east, right? East, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the Mishnis are, folks. I think every state would probably be like, that's We've wrong. got our own yeah. thing there, but I'm partial to Bengal. Why is that? Why. You know why. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm such a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Are you gonna have to exercise like twice as much tomorrow? That's Jalibi. Feel the beat of the rhythm of the night. Ow, my neck. When it comes to Indian cuisine, there's one type of food that absolutely cannot be overlooked. Dessert. Oh, and here, oh. they do dessert unlike any place I've seen before. Oh, man. Yeah. This whole thing is just full of sugary yeah. syrup. Yeah. This is like my kind of hot chocolate right here. Every region in India does dessert a little differently. The pesto? And in Jokur, there's no <laughs> doubt that they Did he say Jokur? Anywhere they can put Jokur yeah. recipe, they will. Today, Joe we'll be checking out some super simple classic street food so sweets. He's making this gigantic I, one for us. I made that. Making jelly bean. All the way to some crazy, complex dessert preparations oh. you've never Pest seen before. Is that pesto? No ice cream. I'll come across Pesto ingredients that I've never even heard of. Oh. This is gold. And there will be plenty of balls too. <laughs> mm. Get ready to satisfy your sweet tooth. Today we'll find out if Jodhpur is the real dessert capital no, I get, of India. No, I get a different place. Yeah. Maybe. I'm guessing Jodhpur is different than Jaipur. Jodhpur native, fashion blogger, and food lover, Archana, is going to be my guide today. She's done a bit of modeling, too. I do a bit of modeling. Do you know, like, when people do a before and after photo? Yeah. I'll just do the before photo. I'm going to do a photo after one. Where are we right now? <laughs> What's an awkward laugh? I see a bunch of tourists, and a lot of people carrying stuff on their head. I really like that. What does Jodhpur mean? <laughs> it's basically the like picture of saffron. Mm, what is my uh, milk solid. Right? Okay. It's like boiling, boiling milk, and it's turned into mava, a paste sort of thing. Are we gonna try that today? Yeah, sure. Mama, awesome. <laughs> Shri Mishwala Hotel is a landmark in Jodhpur Central Market. Oh, and it's not even a hotel. This place, is it more famous for desserts or for being a hotel? Oh, this is desserts. It says hotel right here. For the last 90 years, this place has been crafting the perfect dessert menu. What are we here for? We are going to eat rabi. It's boiled milk. After getting the boiled milk is a bit heavy, they add sugar onto it. Okay, let's dish it up. This rabi is made with milk that's been boiled until becoming thick. This is called mawa in Hindi. Sugar is added for sweetness with a splash of rose water mixed with cardamom on top. Oh. Look at this, essentially dehydrated like milk water. with sugar. So it's like very rich, creamy, and then chunky. Take a nice big bite. No. You like it? Mm. I would not like that it's texture. Actually, it yeah. texture. That would disgust me. Consistency. It's a little like cottage mm. cheese, but sweet. The flavor, it's creamy, sweet. It almost tastes like a little bit of honey. But there's no honey. But there's no honey. Bottoms up. We're just getting started. With so many sweets available, this place has a huge kitchen prep area. And we're getting a behind the scenes look at what they're making next. Oh, yeah. 
we have come to the preparation rooms at this hotel. Again, it's uh, not a real hotel. But if it was, this is the room I would stay in. What is this called? Michelin <laughs> Have I mentioned that Jodhpur loves dairy? Here they start with mawa, and then add a slew of ingredients including sugar oh, and saffron, so which gives it its vibrant it's like yellow color. Yeah, this yeah. cooks in a warm until sand. it becomes the paste you see now. This is my offering mm -hmm. to your team. What do you think? Yeah. Yes? Thank you. Once the ball <laughs> is formed, it gets a literal stamp of approval. It's beautiful. Yeah. Essentially, they kind of stamped it here. Do you think we could like all eat one together? Guys, could you please join me in eating one of these for my show? Cheers. Yeah? Cheers. Mmm, <laughs> it's very thick. Almost like Play-Doh, like a softer Play-Doh. A ton of saffron flavor coming through. And to get it so fresh right from the ballers themselves. Gentlemen, uh -huh. thank you so much. Well, be careful crossing the street. Where are we headed right now? We are going to Motu Jalebi. I know Jalebi. It's like one of my favorite desserts. Oh, it's like a giant funnel cake. That's magical. It's this basic flour, batter, sugar. Is there something special about this place? This is 110 years old. He's the third generation. Yeah, and there's a line. Wow, this place is popular. Hi there. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening over here? Oh, that's for me? Whoa, wow, he's making this gigantic one for us. They're great if they're warm. Yes. If they're cold, much better warm. Right yeah, they're terrible if they're cold. Yeah, they're so they much better when you get them like fresh right out of the Whoa. That one is nuts. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want one right now. Oh, Huge jelly bean, the biggest he made. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it's, it's, it's like more chewy than off. crunchy. Oh, very yeah. brittle. I've uh, never had it this way. It's so thin. You ready to just try it out? Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, it's so toasty. Line. Crunchy. When you take a bite, the sugar gushes out of it. That is just straight guilty pleasure. I'm such a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, they're really good with ice cream. Much, much I guess, yes. Me too. <laughs> Sexy man. Might be giant more. Next, we're headed to one of the most iconic confectionaries, perhaps in all of India. Jodhpur Sweets, with uh, a reputation so strong yeah, yeah, that Jodhpur. copycat shops with the same name has sprung up all over the place. It's that good. When you come in here, you've got a sweet tooth. Okay, yeah. your boyfriend just broke up with you. You're sad. You're going to eat away your loneliness. <laughs> what do you come in here and try? Oh, this is Kaju. She was straight to it. The Kaju Kutli will mend our broken hearts. That's so super hard. sweet. I think we've had one. Ton but of here. Yeah. You're saying this is so sweet, so delicious, it can yeah. cure any loneliness or Heartbreak. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh. Did I? Mm hmm. It tastes like dried fruit mixed with um, molasses, maybe? Yeah. And that's been a long tradition in India, having the silver on top. With so much to choose from, our China recommends some of the most unique treats offered here. What is that? Rose? This is, this is basically an almond sweet. Is it actually rose flavoring? Yes. I must say, India is the only place I've been to where they season desserts with flowers. Yeah. Which other one do you think? Uh, this is the famous sweet of Zofra. Uh, like, like, I think we've had Ladoos. Ladoos is actually what they call it. Classic. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll try some of the old and some of the new. They call Lima the Ladoo. Oh! Oh, I think we start with the classic and then we'll work our way up to this rose one. Though these balls look somewhat similar, their preparation <laughs> could be more different. Ladu means ball, and the robbery ladu starts with a mawa gram flour bowl <laughs> that's then strained through this skimmer spoon, creating tiny fried little balls. Those get tossed into a sweet syrup, <laughs> saffron, and balls? cardamom blend. Finally, they add cardamom powder, rose petals, oh, wow. fresh ones, that looks almonds, good. and press them into the balls you see here. Now, to you, is this a one biter? No. Two biter. Yeah. Are you ready? Cheers. A two biter ball. No, oh, no, Corbin. Whoa, that is so rich, so sugary, kind of crumbly. Sweaty balls. In here. Ooh, it feels luxurious. Is this what kings would eat back in the day? <laughs> yeah. I feel like a king as I eat this. Mmm. <laughs> The rose bud on ladu has a very different The oldest one here is the one that has a made of saturated and blended almonds and sugar. That's right, this big ball of paste consists mainly of almonds. Then they pile on roasted almonds oh. and rose syrup. Mix it up, oh. ball it up, then even more rose syrup oh, and then <laughs> dry rose petals. Finally, it's like a with pistachio flakes and ready to Give eat. me a pistachio one. one. Does ladu mean ball? Yeah. Do people ever say like, you don't have the ladus to mess with me? 
Does anyone say that? Like, no. That guy's got no. quite a set of blood dudes. Let's try it out. I don't want my own. Mm. Why am I doing this? Oh, very sweet, obviously. It's kind of similar in texture, but has some crunch in there with the nut. But man, rose flavoring, that is out there. It's really perfumey kind of aroma to it that you taste up in your nose. Are you still working on that? No. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious, I love it. But that's not why we came here, is it? We're here for a super secret dessert. But first, the owner is showing me how all this sweets making is possible. Every floor above their main room where they're serving the dessert is just full of pots and pans and cooking, different things going on. Look at this place. How many people are working here creating all this food? I don't get to join in. Whoa! How many? It's not 8,200. So but then you come up the elevator uh, and you just see there's so many tasks to be done. Now, here they're making uh, rasgulla, here they're making uh, mava. So this whole machine, they put normal milk in here. Yeah. When it's solid enough, you just dump it into here. Yeah. I would love to try it. This is a kind of common ingredient here, mawa, right? Oh. Really with the hand, you get a bit of this. It's very hot. It is. It is very hot. It's kind of sticky. There it is. I get all the too long. It's like burning my hands. Can you try it together? Let's do it. Wow, it is like the curry part of cottage cheese with sugar added. So it's a little sticky as you chew yeah. it. This is sweet, something that goes around for all the people. Be careful, it's hot. It's really hot. That is delicious. Wow, thank you very much. Oh, wow. We came here for one of the most unique desserts in all of India. It's called Pista Pandalore with like some ingredients hot. I've never met before. What is this one? It looks like caramelized onions. No, it's not. It's no tomato. Look at this. That's so nuts. It looks, it looks like, like a like version of pot. So maybe there's some sugar mixed in there with it? Yeah. Before we cook it, we're going to just sample it a little bit. Oh, very perfuming. That is a very uh -huh. interesting ingredient. One yep. of the most complex but satisfying sweets I've ever discovered. You can't appreciate this food without understanding what goes into it. First, they need to make the pot or green portion of the dessert. It starts with cashews and pistachios that have been soaked in water, then ground into a paste. Then they prepare the wok. I think it becomes kind of a syrup, huh? Yeah, this is sugar syrup. Oh, I guess I did learn a thing or two in food college. Hmm. Then they add ghee <laughs> and the ground nut paste. Pistachio powder brings out more pistachio flavor, and eventually the whole concoction becomes a vibrant green paste. Oh, that is a beautiful shade of green. While that cools down, we make the masala, or the red Part. Rose petals, pistachios, roasted almonds, mishri or sugar crystals, poppy seeds, and their own luxurious pan chutney. Oh, wow. What is going on here? This <laughs> is gold. It's not gold. It's a silver leaves, and it's mixed with sugar syrup and saffron. All right. My wish did not come true. After it's mixed and settles for an hour, it looks like this. How many huh. kilograms of desserts have you secretly just all? Oh. <laughs> it has to taste really sweet before selling it. Hey. I feel that. Now, the assembly. Flatten the green pistachio paste and cut it into squares. Each piece is shaped into a small cone, then stuffed with our beautiful masala. Silver is carefully wrapped around the pot. Then the final touch, made uh, with a saffron and rose water mixture. He's giving like a little bindi to it. Yeah, Wait, exactly. Right? Like... Yeah, that is. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're all going to try it out, right? With you guys too? How do you say cheers? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we asked that too. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. When I had this alone, way too powerful. It's very intense. With this kind of wonderful chewy sheet of pistachio, with that nuttiness balances out the perfuminess so much. It's a perfect blend. So good. I could even just take this too. Whether it's complex <laughs> or super simple, India knows how to take desserts to a whole new level. That's true. We know that song. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Such a treat to have you by my side this whole day explaining all this amazing cuisine to me. For you guys, you can check out Archana on Instagram. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam. Do watch this video. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we've had a couple though. The one, the, the, the square looking one with the silver on top, I think, I don't know if you guys were here. I think you might've been. We've had sweets a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I've had pun. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't taste, taste that much different in India. 
pretty comparable. I'm not a fan. Very. Well, <laughs> it tastes like perfume. Well, there's yeah. different types of pond as well. We so, had flaming pond in New Delhi. No, they were trying to get me to try flaming pond. Yeah, I, I did it. I would not. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, oh wait, did I? I thought you did do it. No, not the flame, because I wouldn't let somebody stick their hands in my mouth. That's true. You <laughs> could, and they had to do it. You couldn't hand it yourself. Yeah, I think they handed me a pond. Yeah. And it was terrible still. <laughs> uh, but there's different types of ponds. So there's like chocolate pond. There's all this other, but the like rose floral kind mm -hmm. is not, that's for, for an American palate. It's oh, it's just way too different. Overwhelming for, like for it's, American palate. We, we had, uh, back in the day in the 90s and earlier, I suppose, we had this thing called potpourri. People just had it in their house. I was just talking to my wife today. Yeah, they, people don't do that in anymore. They really don't. I don't know. I don't know why we. It was did a that. fragrant thing to make your house smell nice. Yeah, but that's what it tastes like. Yep. Like you took a, a handful of, of that, and you eat it. I remember when we ate that. That was. That was I think all three of us. I think we're into yeah, the trash can <laughs> instantly. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a that wasn't a good one. But the jalebis are delicious. delicious. We made that on, on, on our channel before. Oh, the and Ladoos and other stuff that I can't remember. And just basically everything we've ever had in India tastes better in India. That's what we were told. No, Unless cool. you make it. Then I'm you sure you can make it comparable. I'm sure you can. Obviously, I can't make it as good as the guy from that five star restaurant we went to. Oh my goodness. So good. That was one of my favorite things. <sighs> or the, or the palace amazing. that we went to. Or the. Yeah. <laughs> we ate a bunch of good food. Sorry. Next time. Next time. Like the five star restaurant, the palace we went to. <laughs> that does sound good. Yeah, that does sound we weird, doesn't it? The palace we went to, and there were peacocks on the ground as we ate the mutton. Um, I did feel weird. It was beautiful, but I felt weird like going to like a big palace. Even yeah. though they, we were brought there, and they, it was a wonderful experience. Beautifully, beautifully treated. Yeah, but, but it it's, does, just, it's a little awkward. It just <laughs> it feels like when people are serving you. It just it's oh, yeah. always strange. Yep. To somebody who's not used to that. Yeah. Um, but food is good. You like food? Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. You food? Oh yeah. How is it? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. People always think that we don't let you guys talk. This is just them. This is just them. <laughs> <laughs> There's always comments when we all learn videos that said, "Let them talk." Yeah. So we Lexi, are talking. go ahead. This talk. is us talking. <laughs> <laughs> Tuk mata cerdik.